Hello good people, my name is Mbongen Msivi. I'm also a student at UNISA. I just want to share experience with regard to uh, the preparation for exam and the usage of an M. Okay. The, um, the first thing that I want to share with you is that it is actually possible to write your exam using a phone alone without the laptop or any other form of a PC. So if you look on my screen here, you will see I've got this uh, invigilator amp here. Um, first of all, I want to show you how I received my QR code. So if you have the Google Chrome like mine or if you access your information, Okay, I received my QR code through uh, this email. There is QR code. You get to it. Uh, because I've already downloaded it, so this is just a repeat. I'm going to download it again just for the purpose of this video. You open your co QR code. Here is your QR code. So here is the thing, good people. Uh, there is an arrow there on the top right. There are three dots and then that arrow that is look like some kind of a particular shape you click on that and then if you have a one drive you go to your one drive um, your files there i've got my files here um, you go to your files because we want to save this qr code to the course that it is relevant to it okay so if you'll see here semester one semester two courses here is for semester two these are the codes for semester two um these are the codes for semester two you go to the codes then i've already saved the qr code there right as i'm saving it here it's going to automatically appear also on my PC on my OneDrive in the PC so it is sync the OneDrive in the phone is synced to the OneDrive in the PC so it's going to appear there I'm going to show you just now so here good people we are trying to get the um, QR code that we've saved in an Android now we want to get it from the PC so we will open it via the Adobe uh, Reader and then uh, I will show you what to do the after once it's open in the Adobe Reader. So you go to the Adobe Reader and then you go to this amp here. There is this one drive on the um, extreme left uh, here. There is that one drive. So it's actually there, but because I want to open it in a form of an um, Adobe Reader than being a picture or anything else, that's why I'm using the Adobe Reader so that I'll get through that one drive. Then it will be open as an Adobe Reader here. Here on the phone, you want to access your exam paper or your exam site. Uh, you go to Chrome. Then you type my UNISA. Mine is already there because I always use this site, so it's not a problem. There is the exam. I click on the exams. Uh, the date is already the 18th. I scroll down to check the course that I want to write. Um, I found the course, go through it. And then I must enter my credentials here. So I'm going to step off this site for now for the purpose of safety of my personal details. Okay, back. I've moved off that site now. This is the next uh, page. So here, you choose the course you want to write, then you start your exam, it will take you through the process. So here is the course, a list of courses, you choose the course you want to write, then I will show you now when we are logging in the Invigilator M as well. Okay, it took us to this site. Um, from here, we say online assessment, then there is the modules and the time everything then you choose the module you need to scan the qr code 
So we can just step off from here and go to the Invigilator M. Um, log in. So I'm going to step off a little bit here before I log Okay, I've now logged in. It says start the assessment. I'm starting now the assessment. It says scan the QR code. So because I've got the number, uh, I've also got the contingency plan somewhere in case this number is not working. Uh, at some stage it didn't work. So let me hope it's gonna work. Is verifying everything um, seem to be going well then start the test uh, please do not leave the amp blah 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 then you say okay mm, it now need the selfies and all the things like that um, it shows me where it will appear so in the meantime i'm going to step off this amp you see it's, it's, it's still active there moving off it doesn't mean it's switched off it can even go on sleep time but it will still be running behind Okay, those that past slides were just a demonstration of how you can switch off from the AMP to your exam site back to the AMP back to the exam site. If you've noticed there on the AMP, the time or the clock is still running there at uh, the bottom right. You can scroll back to the, on this video and check it out. The next slide is going to show you the end of your multiple choice kind of exam you will notice there it will ask you the opt number the four digits so you will have to get it from the amp but i'm just going to show you how it will look like you must notice also there that is 51 of 51 questions so it's the end of the exam The next slide is going to show you the formalities that will be required by the invigilator amp like taking your selfies and all the things like that. Once you are finished then you will see there where you must request your OP number thereafter you take it through and enter it into your uh, exam site. In the next coming slide you will see where i submit for grading and during the process you'll notice that i keep on taking some screenshots just for my record purposes so if you prefer something like that although they will send you an email to confirm that your exam has been su submitted successfully but it's always preferable to have your own backup in case you don't receive
after you've entered your OPT number, then we are back to the AMP to finalize the process. There is where you will see even the uploading of the document that was required from you, like your ID, your selfie and stuff like that. Let's just have a look. In the next video, I'm going to show you my contingency plan in the event that an AMP does not accept the code. So I will have to go to the PC. So my QR code document is already open on the PC. You will see there. Then I will scan it direct from the PC in the event that the code is not acceptable as I showed earlier when you are using your Android.